Have you ever had to call into work because you couldn't find your keys? Stay tuned, we'll show you how to solve that problem. Hi, I'm Corey, and I lose stuff, specifically my keys. So today on 131 Woodworking, we're gonna take some scrap ambrosia maple, scrap walnut, make a contemporary key holder that should solve all my problems. So let's go over the miter saw and get started cutting. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna set our um, miter saw up and we're actually gonna cut a compound miter. So you set your fence to 15 degrees, and rotate your bevel uh, to 15 degrees and this will give you a 15 degree uh, compound uh, cut. Sorry for the uh, poor angle here, but what I'm doing is uh, taking my piece, lining it up with my marks on my jig, uh, rotating, cutting, and repeating. So now that we've got all of our pieces cut, we're just gonna line them up, flipping them every other one. Now what you want to do is arrange it in the grain pattern you kind of like. We'll take our ambrosia maple. We'll start gluing them up. You want to get the, the flat part um, aligned as best as you can. Don't worry about this because we'll turn it down and sit later. When we've got all of our pieces glued in, we'll put, put a clamp on it and let it dry for a little bit. Glue dry. So we just pulled the clamps off, um, and this is kind of what we're left with. We're gonna get ready to trim it up, but the way this works is you've got a the way this works is you have 15 degree angle here, and a 15 degree angle here, and when it slides in, it acts as a lock. You can hang keys on it, paint brushes, whatever you got, and you know, that looks and that looks pretty pretty cool. So back over to the miter saw, we're just gonna trim our edges. So all I'm doing is I'm trying to put the, take one saw tooth blade right off this edge to kind of square it up. Closer. So now that we've got everything sanded, squared up, we're gonna take a, a drill, drill into the small end of the loose pieces. And I just picked up some um, three quarter inch eye hooks that we're gonna use. Um, you go here. So the trick is you want your, try to keep your drill square and not blow out the front or back. There you go, and repeat. If you wanted to, you could drop a little CA glue down the hole. Uh, before screwing that in, it'd act like a, a Loctite and they won't come out. However, I built a, a smaller set and this is just, this is just pine. It just hangs your keys right on it. Um, haven't had any issues with 
with my hood coming out, no glue, no CA glue, nothing like that. So, kind of what you have. Uh, we'll put something on it to kind of make the grain come out, pop out a little bit, uh, protect a little bit, and then we'll get to mounting it. For our finish today, I'm just gonna go with the Howard's uh, beeswax. Um, so we're just gonna kind of dump it on, use a rag to uh, soak it in. Now watch. Literally my favorite pro part of any project is just watching that grain come to life. I really enjoy the contrasting colors between the, wal the walnut and the ambrosia, and then with the ambrosia with this fun feature right in there. That's what we're left with. So as far as mounting, you can take the, the picture frame holders um, and nail a couple here and here, hang on your wall level. But since we're going with the scrap wood projects, we're just gonna countersink some holes uh, in behind here. So we're just gonna find our keys, attach it to our blocks, get them hung on the wall. Yeah. So you can take your block, your keys, drop them in. Now you always have a place for your keys. And there you have it, another 20 minute project with scrap woods from 131 Woodworking. Time to go get some more woods.